Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice Rita and to all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back to watch today's tutorial. If you are new and you discovered this channel for the first time, please click the subscribe button to get regular updates. And if you enjoy this tutorial and it's useful for your analysis, please like this video and share with your friends. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to measure the fluorescence intensity within a region of interest in the first part of the tutorial. And in the second part of today's tutorial, I will show you how to measure several region of your image at the same time. Okay, for the first part, for any uh, so, uh, for, for the for the quantification of fluorescence within a uh, region of your sample, you need first any of this selection tool. You could either use the rectangular selection tool or the circular one, or you can use the polygon selection where you can just drop which part of the image you want to quantify. And the last selection tool is the freehand whereby you click just once and drag your uh, mouse over a region that you are interested in measuring. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will first use the rectangular tool. And with the rectangular tool, let's assume we want to measure this region of our sample. And you want to keep this size consistent among other area of your uh, analysis. After drawing this uh, region of interest, you need to click the T button on your keyboard. That will add the selection to a region of uh, to a region of interest manager, and that way you can always go back to it to select the 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 region that you've already drawn on the image. The next thing you need to do, which is really quick, is to go to analyze. Because the parameters you want to determine within the region, within your sample, might be different, I'll show you how to select the measurement you want. That way you go to Analyze, Set Measurement. In this Set Measurement panel, we have the several um, values that the image can, the, that you can extract from your image. First is the area of this region of interest that we've drawn. The second is the mean gray value. This mean gray value is the one that will give you the brightness of your image. That's the fluorescence intensity. If you are also interested in measuring the median uh, gray value, you can click on, you can select the median value or any other value, the maximum and minimum gray value. You can also click on that. And if you click on display label, after you finish measuring your sample, this region of interest, that uh, the label for the region of interest will display over the selection tool after measurement. So I'm going to be leaving this because I'm going to be taking this because we need it for the second part of the tutorial. And now you can click on OK. Because you've selected the type of measurement that you want for the uh, for your analysis, the next thing you just have to do is go to analyze and click on measure. With the measure, you can also use M as you can see, that's the, it gives a short code. You can use command M or control M to get that measurement. And after we've clicked on the measure, you will realize that a results page opened, which gave us the details of the selection that we've ticked in the set measurement uh, panel we've selected that we wanted the area of the image of the region of the interest that we've drawn and also that we wanted the mean gray value you can see here the mean gray value of my fluorescence intensity it's showing as uh, 2000 plus and the skewness is just showing because we've ticked that in the selection parameters it's showing the skewness of this uh, rectangle so how do you then measure the fluorescence intensity of several parts of an image? Because with this, it's just a single region of interest. If we select several region, clicking C to add the region of interest. If we select several region and click show label, you can see that the three region 
I show you now. If you go to analyze and click measure, you will only get a single measurement. You can see here, number three, this is the third measurement we've done. Okay, I'll delete this so that you can on the, you can get this clearer. If you click, if you've drawn three region of interest and let's make it four. Okay, now we have four region of interest. over okay so if we have none we have four region of interest that we want to measure in our image sample if you go to analyze and click on measure it will only give you a single result because you've only selected a single command that it should measure so it has measured the four together to give you the mean uh, intensity within the four different region but that is not what you want you want to have the mean intensity value for each of these four region of interest and in order to do this you are going to be measuring from your row manager because that's it has the memory of where your uh, where your region of interest are to do that if you go to more and select measure multi measure from you go from the row manager you go to more and then you select multi measure with the multi measure it's going to provide you the details of all the region of interest you can either leave this as it is and click on ok and with this you can see that your the first region of interest is labeled it as area one this is the main intensity value for that area and the skewness of that region of interest for the area two this type of measurement is a bit confusing so i'm going to repeat this measurement and click that all the parameters should be on a single column not multiple rows okay so more multi-measure and i'm going to untick this that way i can have the simple the simple uh, line of measurement so now you see this is better right so it's giving us for the first region of interest, this is our area, the mean value. The second region, which is this region here, you can see it gave us like 3,600 plus, and that's because you can see also there is this uh, thick uh, brightness uh, here. You can see the third area and the fourth area. And with this, you can easily export your, uh, your data and then work with the value that you've been given if you want to show the the four different intensity as a plot so all you have to do now is right click is to go to file save as remember when i click on file save as i, I was selecting the measurement panel that's why i'm able to go to file save as and it's going to export the value in csv format just click on this to go to the desktop and now I can open this with Excel file as an Excel file and continue my analysis and if you have several images because you, you if you if you are measuring for several images let's assume you are measuring for 20 samples because the sample we just measure it's labeled it as tooth two, one and that is the label name if your second sample has a two to two as the as this as the label name it will be here that way you are not going to mix up the the analysis and the reason why we are the measurement has given us for both channel one and channel two is because our image is as two channel the bright field and the fluorescence of field i hope you find today's tutorial very useful please write in the comment section if you found this very useful this type of uh, lovely comments encourages me to record the next tutorial and until next time, have a lovely day.